Hello, fear family. Welcome to my channel, Black Sheep Lone Wolf Tarot. Trying to get some better lighting. I think this should be okay. I'm outside. There's some fresh air, y'all. It's getting colder. It's getting a little chilly. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, and Taurus. Okay, I'm going to get into some prayer before I start my reading. I meant to bring my sage out here with me, but I arrived. That didn't happen. I call forth the Most High, known by many names. I'm in Olojumare, Nayami. Create of all things, let your divine light shine through me. I call my great spirit guides to speak with me. Help me, great spirit ones. Help me to see. Show me what I need to see. Give me the answer. Show me the way. I'm asking these prayers to all the an the elders that I pass on that watch over me, my ancestors, the uh, angelic realms, the archangels and angels, my spirit guides. Let me know what is going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus rising, Taurus in the North Node on this day. Help bring some clearance. Not clearance, but some understanding with this reading. These channel messages, may they be guided so that my viewers, my subscribers, they understand exactly what I'm speaking on. Uh, let this reading be for them. Let them know intuitively the messages that I'm bringing forth that it's meant for them to receive and let them know how to receive this message. Understand. Ashe. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Hey. So, lately I've been doing the <clears throat> the energy reading before, but I want to do it different. This reading, again, is for Taurus for the month of December 2020, okay? Let me get into the situational question, and then we're going to get into the energy for the month of December, okay? That's how we're going to do it. Now, I'm not going to do the Celtic cross because I'm not using the traditional tarot. I'm using the Akashic tarot and the um, the psychic tarot. So I'm not going to do, I'm going to kind of freestyle. I'm not going to do the Celtic cross for this reading. Also, you guys, I know I talk a little slow so that you guys can understand me. I think I talk slow naturally, but... um. You can um, fast forward the reading or speed it up a little. If you're watching from, I believe like a, if you're watching from your phone or a tablet, you can speed it up. But if you're watching on your TV, you can't. Okay. Just want to throw that out there. This is also a collective message. So this really may or may not resonate with you. Also, um, being that I'm outside, Y'all bear with me if there's any um, outside noises that's a disturbance. I apologize beforehand. There's, I'm at a park, so there's children, adults, you know. It's a park. So. Again, this reading is for Taurus. Okay. So three just jumped out right off the bat. Let's see. Let's get into these three. Y'all reading been delayed like I want to say almost two day delay. So I know y'all got the shit going on, Taurus. Before I even get into y'all reading, <laughs> I know y'all got some shit going on. Let's get into it. All right. So. Like I said, three cards should shut down. The Eight of Forces, the Lightning Bolt. So they're strong, moving forward, um, strong communication with someone. In the instance, in a hurry, I'm getting someone wants to, as, fa as fast as a Lightning Bolt. Someone, there's a message that wants to get to you or needs to get to you quickly. With this lightning bolt, this is normally, for me, this is going to be the, you know what? 
I said that wrong. Not the eight of. See, I'm using this Akasha Tarot, right? <laughs> so they don't have like the swords and the wands and stuff. This is the eight of swords. But it, it still has to do with communication. But this communication is more so in your mind. Um, so for me, this is a deliberation on communication. It's something about communication. Let's move forward. We got the Three of Roses, which for me is the Three of Cups. On this card, it has still the the loving elementals and there's a uh, I'm urged to look at this baby there could be messages of a baby because next we have the seven of cups the journey so there's there's some decision on what to do there's communication in regards to a decision this decision could wrap around relocating somewhere. For some of you, this is in regards to a baby. For some of you, there's just some communication that needs to be had. Or this situation is all in one. Taurus, I knew y'all had this shit going on. I knew y'all had this shit going on. <laughs> I knew there was a delay for a reason. There's a lot of uncertainty. I can say that for sure. Whether um, this is on you or a cross watcher, a lot of heavy energy, a lot of indecision, a lot of um, uncertainty. Indecision and uncertainty for the month of December. Again, y'all, I'm at a park, so there's a lot of you know children. Hear them, so I know y'all hear them. Okay. Got the King of Scrolls. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. And they have the six of keys, could be representing the six of pentacles, the three of forces could be representing the three of swords. Someone wants to return to you. Someone that you feel may have backstabbed you or crossed you. They they're not finished. They're not done. They're, they still want to communicate. This king of scrolls, though, he has like this smug look on his face, like uh Jean. Betty, I was not done talking to you. We got some unfinished business. I know you see this scroll, this petition, this map, this contract. <laughs> I know you see me standing here. So this person feels like they have unbid, unfinished business with you. That's why I'm getting the six of keys. Like the um, the six of pentacles normally talk about giving and receiving with a person. So this person is not done. The three of swords normally speak of heartbreak, but here we have the six, the three of forces with the bird's nest. The bird's nest is a new beginning. It's a, um, as you can see, the the baby birds here, the mama bird feeding this baby bird. For me, it represents something still being put together, something still being held together. This person could have crossed you, broken your heart, betrayed you, but. For them, they're still not done. It's the message I'm getting. So I am, I don't, you know, y'all know I don't do them love readings and all that. Y'all know I don't. So I'm start. But I am going to pull some of the romance angels, angel cards because I feel like this message is definitely in regards to a romance type of situation here. Queen of Forces, 
We have the Six of Roses, which is, um, for me, the Six of Cups. The Three of Scrolls, meaning like the Three of Wands. Yeah, you have, you tried to block and cut this person off. For me, the um, Queen of Forces represents the Queen of Swords. I'm hearing day and night. It's like day and night. <laughs> You've gone backwards and forth with this person. This person is like one minute they're the day to you, the next minute they're the night. Meaning one day, you know, y'all on good terms, the next y'all on bad terms. One minute y'all speaking, the next minute you got this person on block or they got you on block, vice versa. However, this resonates for you. It's like you're tired of the back and forth. So you shut shit down, basically. Yeah, this War of the Roses with the Six of Roses representing the Six of Cups as well. It's like... You're tired of the back and forth. It's like you're ready for this is to make a decision, pick a side. You made a decision. You picked your side. They still want it. They're not done. Yeah. You set your sights elsewhere. You're ready to move forward. Your your um ships have sailed. You definitely want to move forward. You definitely are setting your sights elsewhere, but this person could still be dealing with someone else. But you, them and that person is still like, uh, what the fuck they think they doing? Your person, if they're dealing with someone else, they know about you. And I feel like their person is more concerned about you than they are. If that makes sense. Take that as it resonates. Okay. okay I don't want no long drawn out reading, Sam. So, I know every. I got a little carried away and they reading. You could be dealing with an Aries. So I suggest you watch the Aries reading as well. Okay. I'm gonna use the psychic tarot deck for the the remainder of your situation reading. Okay. And then we're gonna get into the energy for the month of December for Taurus. I got my deck up right. Okay. I'm getting that if this is in a, if this is a romance that you're concerned about, there's little to any communication going on. There's not a lot of strong communication. The feelings are still there, but communication is not. That's for someone. Yeah, there's not much communication. Okay, you or your person has options. But you're only seeing the truth discontent and boredom this is you or your person being discontent or boredom bored I'm getting your person wants to come towards you they want to speak their truth but um they're withholding it's like they 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 don't know how to clearly communicate what's going on with them or what's going on with you guys the situation they want to come forth they want to speak the truth um, this person wants to stand in their power with um, sacrifice, they are afraid of losing you. This person is definitely afraid of losing you. Yeah, with the fulfillment of wishes, for me represents like the nine of cups type of energy, nine of cups, nine of pentacles. Um, you being independent and successful, but this person, you are their wish fulfillment. You are everything that they want, they dream of. They have love for you. They have feelings for you, but 
if they're dealing with someone else, they don't know how to let this other person go. Yet, they don't want to let you go either. They want to speak their truth, but at this moment, they are withdrawn because they don't know how. Okay. I'm going to start things off with the... Um, <clears throat> With the romance angels because I think this is a love situation that's going on here. I don't know why y'all got me with this shit. This romance angel stuff. Y'all know I don't do love readings. But every sign, almost every sign, y'all always get me. Damn romance. <laughs> I don't do this shit. Y'all got me with these damn pink ass cards in my hands. Like, I don't do romance. Y'all like so what? Reading cards. Okay. Fine with me. I'm sorry, y'all. Got the sniffies. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna sniff it all up. I need to edit that part. <laughs> Again, either you got this person blocked, they got you blocked. There, there's little to no communication here. If it is, it's very short, very short and choppy. <laughs> Express your love. There is little to no communication going on here. You or your person. Codependency. This person may have someone else. Just bottom line, you or your person. One of y'all jokers got somebody else. Y'all not communicating. Someone got strong feelings but not speaking the truth on that shit. Calling in your soulmate. Like, <laughs> like that just can't all everything that I'm saying just came out in your your situation portion. Either this person is calling out for you because you're their soulmate or you're calling out for that person because they're your soulmate. But there's little to no communication when there should be some. Somebody's in a codependent situation. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person is a codependent on someone else or codependent on some type of substance. You or them. Take this as it resonates. Um, I want to clarify this codependency. I'm going to pull Sabella. Uh, codependency spirit what is this codependency I normally don't clarify the romance angels the message is what it is but I want to get to the nitty gritty I want to get to the bottom of it okay lover came out so someone is codependent on someone else they're codependent on this person why is this person codependent on someone else what is this codependency Again, I'm going to get to the nitty gritty because y'all won't communicate, so. Okay. What the card has said was size. This is the same person. You know who this is. Room. Messenger. Someone wants to come to you with messages about this codependency, but I'm getting that this is a something you already know about. Or there's more that they need to tell you, more that they want to clarify to you. But I'm getting someone shutting someone down. So these messages are not getting through. Either to you or your person. There's definitely another person here. But regardless of that, you know that you're dealing with your soulmate. I'm going to pull some fortune cards for you, Taurus. Your fortune for December. Let's see. South note. This is her South Paw. Uh, maybe a person is a boxer. Or they watch boxing a lot. Or maybe they're a, a trainer boxing. Her South Paw. Or this person loves to fight. They love fights. 
been in for five. South Park. That's for somebody. That's a specific person, I believe. Sorry, y'all. It's, it's a little windy out here. Stuff is going haywire. So I'm expecting shit is going on. December's Taurus. And you're like, everything feels like it's going haywire. Things are going crazy. The, uh, expect the unexpected for this month, Taurus. Expect the unexpected. The king. Locked doors can now be open. Again, expect the unexpected. Some revelations, some things are getting revealed to you. Some things are coming to illumination. Some things that you've been blocked from knowing is coming to you now. So it's something about your intuition. I'm getting October, November, your, intu your intuition wasn't popping like it normally does. But December, some things are being revealed. I believe you're going to shock yourself this month. <laughs> or something's going to shock you. But it's not going to be shocking because it's like you already know. I'm picking up High Priestess Energy here. Some of you may have Scorpio in your chart or you are dealing with a Scorpio. talking talking Tammy maybe your name is Tammy or somebody named Tammy somebody's talking there may be some rumors some gossiping going on thank you we have the unicorn good fortune and friendship maybe you need to talk to a Tammy talking Tammy Tammy gives good advice. I don't know. A close friend acts on your behalf. Yeah, you have a good friend. Maybe this Tammy. Or maybe somebody's going to tell you about Tammy. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, as I say that, matter of fact, the black cat, your luck will soon change. And when I pick up this, this cat card, it's like the cat with this key. I'm getting stronger intuition. Like you, like you, you, your senses are heightened to another level. This could be however your, your psychic senses goes off, whether it's dreams, whether it's clairvoyance, whether it's visions, whether it's um, clairaudience, whether it's by touch or taste or a thought. Whatever it is um, that makes you so intuitive is very heightened this month in December. You're going to be picking up on a lot of different energies, a lot of frequencies. If you're an empath, um, protect yourself. Black tourmaline, um, clear quartz, um, uh, sage, spiritual baths, um, cover your head. Um, you're going to need to be protected while this, these um, downloads come to you because it, it's going to hit you back and forth. That's for somebody. That's a very uh, specific message. Okay. Um, we're going to do the... Actually, I'm going to leave this guys. I haven't used this deck in a while, y'all. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Where we at on the time? 24. Okay. what other messages come up for Taurus. I'm going to put some of these cards up so when the wind picks up they don't go flying everywhere. They don't have to go running through the park looking for tarot cards. 
Okay. for the month of December. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Taurus, North Node Energy. Even though you are, you may be separated or apart from someone, they still feel your presence. They still feel your energy. You still don't, you, you can't just leave their mind so easily. Or vice versa, you still feel their presence, you still feel their energy. I'm hearing that song, Maria, Maria, uh, with um, Carlos Santana. That part um, goes, when the wind blows, I can feel you. Now you, you made a big impact on this person energetically. It's not hard for them, I mean, it's not easy for them to just they can't just wish you away they can't just think you away they can't they can block you all they want but your energy is still present in their aura in their mind in their dreams or vice versa or it's for you both because you're both soulmates so you know okay we got the arrow master hitting the mark intention and detachment Hitting the mark, intention, and detachment. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. <clears throat> you could be dealing with someone who they like guns, guns or knives. I don't know the term for that. They like guns, they like knives. Bow and arrow, going shooting, going hunting, going fishing, the arrow master. This person knows how to make their mark. This person knows how to lay a trap. This person knows how to get, you know, what they want. With little to no bait, they know how to get what they want. And again, with you still being in their energy, it's not easy for either one of you to detach from each other. Okay. Um, someone name is Mark, or you call them Mark. The sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life, abundance. Um, let me get real close with this card. This right here, this image makes me think of like a big ass piece of sage. <laughs> it's not, but with it going all in the air, you know how the smoke gold rises from the sage. Um, getting a lot of protection. Protect yourself. We're here um, in black. Again, like I told you, some of you guys need some black tourmaline, crystal quartz, or both. Sage, protect yourself. Because you don't want any of um, outside energies. While you are empathing these different energies, you're also in a state of meta manifesting. And if it is prosperity, abundance, money that you are trying to manifest, you need to make sure that you're protecting yourself as well. Okay. Where are we at at the time? Perfect, perfect, perfect. The Rainmaster of Scrutiny. Okay. Discernment, clear vision, details. There's some details.
There's some details that you need to pay close attention to in the month of December. I'm paying more attention to this little mouse or a rat. You have someone who's doing something sneaky, doing something behind your back. They may feel as though it's a small matter at hand, but to you it's not. So pay attention to any details with any contracts, paperwork, negotiations. Someone feels like you're sleeping on them, so they're going to go ahead and do what they want to do. All the while, and look at the, look at this man, white hair and his beard. You're wise. You're a wise one. Nothing don't get past you. You can be sleep. Whatever they're doing in the dark, it's going to come to light. Nothing gets past you, Taurus. Okay. I'm going to take one card from the energy deck. Getting that you're kind of in reclose, reclose, rec whatever you call that spider that's in the dark and by themselves. That's the type of energy you're in. Your spidey senses are going off, but it's like you're in hermit mode. You're not dealing with too many people, too many places. It's like you don't want to be bothered. And it's not because you don't want to deal with anyone. It's just that you want more, more clarity and insight with what's going on. With you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you may be releasing some old pains, old traumas that may have you with some anxiety. Maybe even tearful if it's some past trauma that you're trying to heal or any old wounds, something that you're trying to clear up, something that you have better vision for now, now that you have matured and wised up in a different manner. There's some things that you're trying to heal from. You know that it's holding you back from being a greater person, seeing greater things for yourself. You're trying to clear up something. I don't know what that trauma is. Yeah, it could be trauma that has affected your love life. It has been trauma that has kept you from being passionate about your own self-love. It could be trauma that's blocking up from you actually manifesting someone that will love you the way that you deserve to be loved. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. This is your December reading. Thank you for viewing. Peace, family.